So hello, we're back again for the panel number seven. Um, the panel number seven will discuss the inner game of the goalkeeper. At the moment, we have a panel, John the Benedictis, will be um, moderating the panel. We have also Paul Dolan and then Gaspar. We are waiting for to um, get in. We'll start a conversation either way, and um, hopefully, um, Tony will get in touch with us and get into this discussion. So I'm going to introduce first Paul Dolan. Hello, Hello Paul. How are you? Good, Ricardo. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. Now, Dan. Hello, Dan. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Now, I, I, I will introduce now John. John will be moderating this uh, panel. Hello, John. Hello. Can you hear me? Is it okay? Yes, perfect. I'm okay. I was just on the phone with Tony Waiters, who's trying to get hooked on. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll, we'll get him soon. Okay. I, I will try to uh, help him out to get in, into the panel. In the meanwhile, John, I suggest that you start um, the debate, the conversation. I would like to, to thank uh, Paul, Dan, and John, of course, to uh, be here with us. We have Tony Waiters now getting in, so I'm going to get out and I'm going to put Tony in. Okay, guys, see you in a bit. See you in 45 minutes, okay? Great. How are you guys doing? Hey, John. Hey, John. Great. Um, just thought I'd do a quick intro. Uh, I'm the executive director for National Soccer Coaches Association of Canada. I've also written a book called The Last Nine Seconds, The Secrets of Scoring Goals, but I played as a goalkeeper. And uh, the, the That's book a is based combination. on... Yeah, it's based on psychology, uh, the psychology of scoring from a goalkeeper's point of view. And um, so I'm absolutely excited to have um, uh, three gentlemen on the panel. Uh, Tony Waiters, who we are waiting for, was the national coach for Canada, uh, the only coach that ta has taken Canada's men's team to a World Cup. And um, he's also coached with the Vancouver Whitecaps and played on the English national team. Um, on that first team was Paul Dolan, who played for Canada, and he was the first keeper to play in a World Cup in 1986 for Canada. Uh, so welcome, Paul. Uh, great to have you. Thank you, John. Good to be here. And then we've got Dan Gaspar, who has been a uh, goalkeeper coach. He played uh, goalkeeper, but you also worked with the Portuguese national team, a uh, number of years with the Iranian national team. I've seen you at uh, presenting at conventions in uh, the NSCAA or the United Soccer Coaches Convention uh, many times, and, and you I probably have a long list, uh, but uh, I'll keep it to to that and maybe you can add later but welcome uh dan my pleasure thank you john uh so the uh, the first question i'm gonna have to wait till we, we get tony on i see him coming in and out so uh the one thing about goalkeeping as you probably know it's a it's a highly uh, psychologically based position and and what i mean by that is you know i don't think there's any other position on on uh, on the field where if you make a mistake uh, the other team pretty much scores a goal and um, you know that's a that's a you know it could be very stressful. Some goalkeepers uh, can handle it in different ways. And and just your own experience uh, from from that perspective, how were you able to handle the stress uh, as a goalkeeper? And then the next question I'll ask is how do we coach young players? So, uh, Paul, let's start with you. Well, I have to be honest with you. I I did feel the pressure of being a goalkeeper for the exact reason that you said there, John, is that you knew that if your team made a mistake, you were likely to concede a, a goal that meant the uh, team wouldn't win. Particularly when you played for Canada for many years, you know we were a team that didn't generate a lot of goals uh, going the other way, and so uh, I was nervous, uh, truthfully. And I think a lot of goalkeepers. First and foremost, don't admit to that nervousness. And I had a good conversation. I remember one time when I was rooming with Craig Forrest, and I always felt, oh, surely he doesn't feel the nerves. And Pat On said the same thing when I was the goalkeeper coach with Canada. Uh, we had conversations, and and you do feel them. So I think the first thing to recognize is that it is a stress-filled position. And then what can you do about it to mitigate those nerves that you sometimes feel? I know that there's some keepers 
that maybe don't feel the stress or the pressure. Um, but I know with the national team that we, each of us in any case, uh, felt that, you know, that, that desire to do well for your team and you don't want to be the player that lets down the rest of your teammates. So I think that's the first thing that's important is recognizing that uh, the mental part of goalkeeping, I think, is more important than the physical part. And so when you recognize that there are going to be stresses going into a game, how do you work against those? How do you uh, help to mitigate them, as I say? And I think one of the things that we're seeing more and more happen nowadays, and certainly with John Herdman's national team now, is the use of mental coaches and what they can do to goalkeepers in those situations. It's a much bigger question, of course, but uh, I'll start with that as, as something that you've addressed there that is prevalent in the game at every level, I would think, um, and maybe isn't talked about as much as it should be.